We've been asked to solve this equation on the interval from 0 to 2 pi, and then to round to four decimal places as necessary. So I guess we're going to have to see what those instructions are about with the maybe having to round. It tells me I might be using my TI-84 to approximate some solutions at some point during this video. But for right now, I see a trigonometric equation that has quadratics in it. And I would kind of like to get everything on one side before I get started. So I'm going to get everything over here on the left-hand side by adding the 2 sine squared x and taking 4 away. And I could have chosen to move the other, um, other side over, right? Take 7 cosine away from both sides. And everything would have worked out just fine. In fact, I think I might, you know, have created one more step for myself here by choosing what I've chosen, but that's okay. Uh, so I see sines and cosines. I want to get everything into just one of those. Because I see the sine squared, I think I'll be using a Pythagorean identity to make everything in terms of a cosine. So I see sine squared x, which I know is equal to 1 minus cosine squared x. So I'm going to go on and make that substitution. All right, let's distribute this to, this is where I think I created myself one more step, because I'm gonna want that to be a positive cosine squared eventually, but I think, I think we'll be able to take care of that here in a minute. I have a two minus a four, so I have two like terms to combine. All right, and this is where I'm just gonna multiply everything by minus one, and if I had just taken everything to the other side, I wouldn't have to do this. And truthfully, I don't really have to do this now. I'm just choosing to. Because I like that leading coefficient to be positive. All right, so I've ended up with a quadratic equation, a quadratic form, and I could try to factor this, right? You have two cosine and two cosine, and play around with this too, but what I'm gonna discover is that this doesn't factor that easily. Right, and so what I see here is a quadratic form that's 2 times something squared minus 7 times something plus 2 equals 0. And if I just met that as that equation, 2u squared minus 7u plus 2, I'd use a quadratic formula to solve it. Opposite b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. All right, so I have seven plus or minus the square root of, let's see here, 49 minus 16 is a 33 over four. All right, so I have seven plus or minus the square root of 33 all over four. I'm not really ready for decimal approximations yet, but I'm just gonna think about those numbers. So seven plus the square root, seven plus the square root of 33, divide by four, and so when I get that, that's not one of my answers yet, right? Because this is a value of u, but 3.186 will give me something to think about in a minute. And then I can do the same arithmetic with a seven minus the square root of 33 all over four. And that's a 0 0.313859 dot, 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 dot. All right, well, let's think about what u is. U is cosine, right? U squared minus 7u plus 2. So these are possible answers for what cosine of x could be. And it can't be this one, right? The largest value cosine can ever be is 1. So that's not going to work. So this is the only thing I have to play with. But I don't want to approximate yet. Right, cosine x is equal to 7 minus the square root of 33 all over 4, which is about 0.3. Three, three, excuse me, point three one something. And so that's possible. There should be two solutions on my unit circle where that happens. And I know that's a positive value, so x is either in the first quadrant or fourth quadrant where cosine is positive. All right, well, I have that value still exactly in my calculator, or at least holding as many uh, decimal places as my calculator can. So I'm gonna make sure I'm in the radian mode, and I'm gonna find inverse cosine of that number. I get about 1.2515 to four decimal places. X is about 1.2515. Well, thinking about my unit circle, that's some angle in the first quadrant, right about there. 
I'm also looking for an angle in the fourth quadrant because that's where cosine is positive. If I think about it, I can use that 1.2515 as a reference angle. So two pi minus that value will be my other angle. About 5.0316. And there we have our two approximated solutions to four decimal places.